Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you kind of a what's on my iPhone video and this strictly has to do with camera apps. Uh, first off, this is Camera Plus. And it is my default camera app now. You can see you have a grid and which helps you line up your photos perfectly. You can double tap to autofocus. You can also use one finger to focus and the other finger to adjust the white balance. And then you can lock the white balance with this little button down here and you can take a picture. There's also some other features if you hit the little tools button down here at the bottom, uh, you can have a stabilizer feature, and this is very handy when you, like you're walking around and your hands are shaking. You can turn that feature on, and whenever your phone is steady, still, it will snap the picture, so you're always guaranteed a very crisp and clear picture. You also have a timer and a burst mode down here is what they call the light box. By default whenever you take a picture um, all all your pictures will show up in this light box and then you can choose to save or edit them or share them um, but I, be I believe this is really useful you can also load pictures into the light box for editing and I'll show you how to do that you just press that little button down at the bottom and let's take this first picture and you can see you can choose to edit and here you have a bunch of scenes down at the bottom It'll, it will adjust the lighting uh, white balance and everything for you also the clarity feature is very handy if you have a really dark photo and you can't see a lot if you hit that button it will bring out every detail of that picture. Now you can also crop the picture and here's where I find is very useful just quick and easy little effects that you can add to make your photos look ten times better and I always like to use the little fashion and with every effect you can hit this button down here and adjust the intensity of the effect. Very handy. That is Camera Plus. Next I'd like to show you Gyro Lens. This app is very handy and what it does is always ensures that your picture that you take is level. And that might not make sense so let me demonstrate. So you can watch as I rotate the phone. You can see in the background that the little figure is, is standing up. And if I snap the picture, and then we go to the Photos app and look, that picture I just snapped is perfectly level. So it doesn't matter how you rotate the phone, it will always take a level photo. Alright, next we got SynthCam. What SynthCam does is simulates the depth of field effect you get with a DSLR camera. So basically what that means is you'll have a uh, your subject in focus and the background will be blurry and basically what you do is select your subject and determine how many little focus points that you will need to keep that area in focus so I see this is basically just a straight line uh, subject so I'm going to use two you just move them in place 
Alright, so what you want to do is hit the record button. And then you move your phone around. And then you hit the pause button. Now you can see the foreground is in focus and the background is blurry. And all you do is hit the save button and it saves it to your camera roll. Alright, there you go. Those are some of my favorite camera apps I like to use. Uh, a couple more I like to mention, and I'm not going to go into them, is the Panoramic 360 and the Microsoft Photosynth. Both of those are camera apps designed for taking panoramic pictures. So, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, add me to Google Circles, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.